Hello. Today we're going to learn how to do this double exposure here. A lot of people ask me about this mirror shot. I'm going to teach you how to do it. As you see, on this side, she's got a surprise look on her face. In this picture, on the left side, I was saying picture, but in the left side of the picture, she's putting hand lotion on her hands. So, now you see that nice effect there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shrink this down. We're going to get on to the tutorial here. As you can see, I got two separate pictures open, one here and one here. This is one of the girl putting lotion on. This is one of the girl looking at the screen in a surprised look. What you do is you set up your, your camera on a tripod. You set up your first shot. You take the first shot, which is this one. Then you keep the camera on a tripod. You do not move it. And you take another picture with the exact same background except move your subject do what you want with your subject and now you come out with two pictures one here and one here what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and pull in we're going to put one picture on top of the other one so what I'm going to do I chose the move tool right here and I'm going to click on the right picture as you can see I'm just going to drag it over to the left picture I'm going to drop it and you can see it's it's there now I'm moving it around go ahead and shrink this one down it's no longer needed I'm going to go ahead and pull this over enlarge it so you can see and it's better enlarge it anyway so you have a place to work with sorry uh, we're going to go ahead there you go uh, hopefully that's big enough let me get a little bigger uh, I know YouTube's going to shrink it down a little bit uh, here we go. Uh, let's get it a little bit smaller there. There you go. Okay, what we're going to do is now we're going to fix your picture up so you have that nice effect that I showed you at the beginning. First, we're going to go ahead and move this and you're going to line it up. As you can see, I chose to line it up by the door because it's a good spot to go line up. And you'll see if you have your snap tools on, it's going to snap it right in place for you. Now notice over here, I got two pictures in my layers box. Bottom one and the top one. If I turn off the top one, the bottom one shows through. This is the top picture. This is the bottom picture. This is the top picture. This is the bottom picture. And when you have the top picture selected, you cannot see through to the bottom. It's the only the top one you can see. What we want to do is be able to scrape off some of the top, put a hole in the top picture, and allow that bottom portion to show through. How that's achieved is with a layer mask. Here's the layer mask box. Go ahead and select your top picture like this. Go ahead and click the layer mask box, and you'll see a white box open. Go over to your tools palette. You see here, you, got, you can change this between black and white. You have to have black and white chosen. Black for your foreground, white for your background. And go ahead and select the brush tool. You got black here, and you got the brush tool. I'm going to show you what this does in a few minutes by changing from black to white. When you have black selected and using the brush tool, and you have your layer mask selected right here, as you color through, start here, you'll start bringing the back picture through to the front. What you're doing is scraping off the front layer and letting the back layer show through. Very easy. I know you're pretty much freaking out right now saying that's amazing, but that's what this does. It scrapes off the top layer and it allows only the bottom layer to show through. So as one girl is disappearing, well, it's the same girl, but as one shot of the girl is disappearing, the back layer is appearing. And since you had it on a tripod, none of the other background parts, parts move, as you'll notice. Now, what, remember what I told you over here. Now, notice this is black. If you switch to white right here, it will do the opposite effect. It will start putting your top layer back on. You see, white brings it back. When you click over here and put black there, black 
brings through the bottom layer. So it's a non-destructive function, meaning you can always go back. And that's pretty much it, believe it or not. I am done. Now, I know you're saying that's easy, and it is. Once you do this a couple of times, it's done. And notice I have the surprise look over here and the not surprise look here. Now, if you'll notice, I think that's a little different than my first picture I showed you. Oops, sorry, not that picture. It's a little different than my first picture I showed you where she's surprised here and, and here is different. Now, why, if you notice, see, we got kind of the opposite effect. You got, you got the surprise look outside the mirror. Over here, you got the surprise look inside the mirror. How that happened is, it really depends on which picture you put on top of which one over here. So, same effect, you can do it any way you want, but just remember that happens whatever picture you put over here on top is how it's going to turn out. Now that's about it. Uh, just keep doing it. Keep doing it over and over. Try different things. Now remember, this is just one type shot. This is the mirror shot. There are many more you can do, many different ways, outside, inside. The trick is to just keep the camera still between shots. Uh, I'll put more tutorials on uh, in a few days or maybe in the coming weeks. Thanks for looking.